Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer requested video, we've got Paul Francis. Can you do the Sabre Dance in the F86? I have another stunt for you to try, please. I know that the Sabre Dance is only viewed as the condition related to the F100 Super Sabre, but is it possible to induce one using the F86, which is of course the precursor to the Super Sabre, just known as the Sabre? Well, let's go and look at the incident first of all, standby. So he's coming in from a landing, he wheels down, just touching down. Nasty stuff. Let's go back and analyse that. First of all, the precondition. He was landing at another airbase and it turns the, 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 the guys in the control tower or someone saw that his front landing gear was damaged. So he went to here as a divert base and they set up uh, a foam runway so he could land on the runway and hopefully wouldn't explode. So he came down for this landing and he got slower than he usually would get because he realised that he's got damaged landing gear. He wanted to land as slow as possible. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But the idea we believe was that he was going to come down, land slowly and land at a high alpha and keep his nose up. A bit like if you're watching F-16 Viper at an air show, he'll land and he'll keep his nose up all the way uh, until he slows down. That's because he didn't want his nose gear to touch the ground until the very last minute. So that all makes sense. But what they didn't reckon on is the carrot is a relatively new pilot in this F-100 Super Saber and this was known pretty much as Widowmaker because it, it killed a lot of pilots or a lot of pilots were killed in it because it had some problems with I believe your stability which is what we're going to see here. During his final approach to the runway Brooks allowed the fighter to slow too much because he got a little too slow and the outer portion of the wing stalled and lost lift. This is the kind of swept back wing fighter that we'd have to land really fast. This shifted the wing centre of lift forward which caused the airplane to pitch up uh, which makes the stall even worse and even more of the outer wing to stall and then we got as it says in another document uh, we have yaw instability the longitudinal or axis of the aircraft started to rotate along the yaw and then to correct instead of using rudder he used adverse aileron which kind of feels like a perfectly natural thing to do to be honest and you'll see that and after that it just went squiggly and well, we'll see. We'll run through it now. So he's down and he's got a little too slow here. I'm not sure if his wheel's actually touching the ground at this point or if he's just kind of floating above it. We haven't got the resolution to tell. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter anyway. His alpha is extremely high, as you can see. For something like a Super Sabre, that alpha looks about 15 degrees. And you can see it getting higher and higher and higher. The alpha's getting higher and worse and worse as the aircraft gets slower and slower and slower. The wings are stalling. And now, as usually happens in a plane, unfortunately, usually one wing will stall before the other for whatever reason. And that's always troublesome uh, if one wing goes because it's going to flip you over. And look at the angle of attack there. That must be 20 degrees angle of attack, which this plane simply cannot fly at. No, still way up in the air. And now he's got, if you look at the rear of the plane, the rear of the plane is starting to kick right. So he's, it's, it's yawing to the left. Um, his left, I think that is. So he's going to roll the opposite direction. Sorry, I said that the wrong way around. It's yawing to the right. So to cancel that, he is rolling to the left. So you can see his left wing is lower and his right wing is higher. Okay. And so at this point, he's going to, he's, or, or a few seconds before this maybe, he's realised he's not going to be able to land. The plane is out of shape, it's out of roll, it's out of yaw. Uh, so he's going to go full power, put the afterburner on, and you can see all the dust starting to get kicked up behind it now as we'll go through mill power and then onto afterburner. And this would usually be a pretty good move in a contemporary fighter, if you take a Eurofighter, a Stealth Fighter, a F-15, an F-16, whatever, because you've got bucket loads of power. Plane like this, you've got a very bad power to weight ratio of about 0 0.55, depending on configuration. So power, you cannot power through something like this. Once it's gone, it's gone, you're dead. Hence Widowmaker. Um, okay, you can see it kicking up all the smoke now. By this point, there's no chance. Look how much the left wing has dropped. It's basically scraping the ground, and the right wing is generating lift. Um, and we're now way out of yaw. Now it looks like the nose is yawing left. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, sorry, right, our right, uh, his right. And it's not really flying anymore. It's just. It's going to come down kind of got a bit of lift there look but his alpha's just got too high at this point if we look at his alpha kind of there that's horizon he's up at about that's 
90, that's 45. It's up at about 30 degrees alpha now, which simply isn't possible, even in a, a modern fighter's struggle to sustain such high alpha. He's presenting too much body and wing to the wind flow. His drag is overcoming his thrust. He's now up to about 45 degrees alpha. There's nothing anyone could do now. It's going to come down. And the wings are stalled. It's, it's possible either the wings are stalled there or he's put the nose of the plane down. Probably the wings have stalled. I don't really know. And now it's literally slipping full. I think full. the wings. I think the wings went, yeah. I think the wings have stalled. Roger. It's now slipping full right, rudder. We're looking at it in reverse. It's kind of hard to say, but you know what I mean? The nose is coming towards us. It's, the plane is now flying sideways. It's not really flying anymore. It's just, you know, it's just its, it's momentum's taking it forwards now. And the afterburner's lit, so it's pushing them up. Yeah, yeah. It's pushing up. And you see how it kind of t presents itself now to the airflow. The whole plane's presented itself to the airflow like a sail. So now it's going to slow really badly. Unfortunately, still fast enough to make it explode. But, and that impact is going to be horrible. Pow. And, you know, that, that would have been about 120 knots or something, I'm guessing. Unfortunately, when you introduce that kind of KE into a... An impact is everything will just be not atomized but you know what i mean just there's no chance of survival and the question was can we do this in the sabers this problem was known to be due to this particular aircraft here and we don't have this aircraft here in dcs we probably will never get it but can we get it in similar aircraft in dcs world what we're going to do is get to the runway and then we're going to come in for a kind of stall landing and we're going to stall, get in that region of stall just as we're touching down and see if we can get your instability. That's what we're looking for here. It's when either, well, I don't, to be honest, know why aerodynamically we get the yaw. I think it's because one of the wings is starting to stall and it's starting to shift left or right. But you guys will have to let me know. Three, two, one, go, I'll see. Right, let's get ourselves configured here. Cap is geared down. Go brake on. Flaps down. check yep i'm configured it's a bit shorter yeah my air brakes are out i'm gonna keep it like that because um it's gonna allow me to have a bit more throttle on so in this plane at the current weight i'm looking at around 100 knots as you can see there um when i'm going to be stalling Just neutralizing my trim one vital piece of information we're missing is the angle of attack we could actually tell the angle of attack roughly in the video but it's very hard to Tell us. I can't see a dial anywhere. I don't think we've got one. Right, 110 knots and approaching threshold here. Although she's very sluggish at this speed, there is oh. no instability. Have you crashed last oh, yeah, there again. Is. Here we go. Nose up, speed down. Bit of left boot. Okay, we are now stalling. We're now in the stall. Full back stick. I didn't have any instability there at all, to be honest. Uh, just... I've got some. Ready? If you slow down enough. I see you. Yeah. I'm going up again. Sort of see you. Yeah, it's sort of dropping a wing. Like oh, that. yeah, you got it. A wing went. Yeah. Let's try again. Yeah. What was your configuration? Um... You don't air brakes out. It's the same as yours. Roger. Let's try again. Okay, I'm stalling. Flaps full, gear, and air brakes. Yes, 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 it's doing it. It's dropped a wing onto the right, and it just pulled me full. You notice I'm having to do full aileron left to counter, which is exactly what the guy did, because it yawed left so much. And I can't recover, I can't recover. Yep. I'm left rudder. Boom. Dead man. Right, let's just analyze that. That was brilliant. Um, so what happened was... I got slow enough that I dropped a wing to the right and that started to become a, uh, an anchor. It dragged me around to the right as it did for his plane. I can't remember whether his went left or right now. And then to counterbalance that, my natural thing is to throw the stick to the left to try and counterbalance it, but no amount of left stick and back stick because I wanted up just like him. I wanted to get the hell up and quick. Full power, I went, but and I've got the same power to weight ratio as him roughly, you know, um, um, as we can ascertain. It was, no, I just couldn't recover. There's nothing I could do. Is there any way of getting out of that? I don't know. You know, I'm not a real pilot. I don't really know. But um, very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, I know it wasn't perfectly the same, but it appears to be myth confirmed. Anything you want to add to that RC? Nope. Hope you enjoyed that soon later.